Nice to see you. I wanted to start off the interview by showing a photo of you. Uh, Uh-oh. This is uh, posted by uh, Dwayne Wade. Uh, oh, Lord. Posted a picture of oh, you... Oh, my goodness. ...giving this dude 50 and icing by the fourth quarter. <laughs> uh, this is a, a young Stephen A. Smith, the college years... Uh, how... College at Winston-Salem State. But you see, this is bad, man, because this dude... Dwayne Wade, the dude that walks around with pink pants on, yeah, tights, yeah. and the whole stuff, he's got me because he's a three-time champion, a future first ballot Hall of Famer. So when he says he would drop 50 on me, it, it, it's not like he's lying. <laughs> you know what? I'd be better than anybody I've seen on the Knicks lately. <laughs> you know, I, I mean, let me tell you something, man. I'm here today because... The Tonight Show. Jimmy Fallon called me, and, and it's my honor and privilege to be here, but I'm getting emotional right there. That's all right. I know. I know. I know you. These dudes, man, these... Hold on. These dudes, man... The Knicks. They keep doing this to me. <laughs> the other night, they were up 17 points. I know, I know. And I was on TV, on NBA Countdown, and I said, you know what? It doesn't make any difference. They're never going to change. They're just going to lose the lead. <laughs> and sure enough, they did it. <laughs> sure enough, they did it. I mean, I'm asking you to make me out to be a liar. And you couldn't do that. Right. <laughs> I do want to discuss uh, more sports things with you. But first, sure. I, there's something that I just loved about you. Okay. Uh, uh, I'm a fan. But I, you are a character on General Hospital. Yes. And I, uh, yeah. I did not know this, because, but I am a giant General Hospital fan from are back you? in the day. Yeah, I'm like old school. Like I, I'm. I, now you got to remember, I'm. When you say old school, what does that mean? Because me, I'm talking Luke and Laura. Yeah. I'm talking about think of Laura, laugh, don't cry. I know you that's wanted right, that that's way. Right, that's right. That's right. You talking about Felicia? That's what you talking no, no, about. No, no, no. A husband no, that was singing. I'm talking talk. about Bobby. Bobby, Bobby Z. Uh, you talking about Bobby? Yeah, Bobby yeah. Spencer. Bobby Spencer. Jackie right. Zeman. The, the, the Jackie Zeman. Bobby Spencer. That was Luke. Sister on General Hospital. I went to. A, I went. You to know a... he got. He almost. He almost died because of her. Did you know that? Luke or Tony? He, he was in. He was in. Luke. He was in the elevator. Yes. Okay. And he was trying to protect her and got shot. Almost got shot years ago. <laughs> she almost got Luke killed. I know. I know Bob is trouble, man. And you got the the Cassidines. You got the weather machine. No, and now you got the, the Cassidines. Here's what happened. I went to. I was doing stand up in L. A. And I got invited to. A, Lunch at Bobby Zeman's house. Wow. It was amazing. Beautiful place. Yeah. And I see the Quartermains talking. Well, that, Cass- yeah, that kind of hurt your feelings, didn't it? it because, you up. know, you get caught up. See, when you watch a soap opera, you go, yo, this can't stay. happen. You guys... You can't have... You know, you enemies stay enemy. That's exactly right. I you go, can't be having can't eat a scene in, out in eat public eat like that. Barbecue and stuff. Exactly right. I go, okay. I've got to get out. i got to get myself exactly. out of this situation. That's right. So, so I see, left. I'm a surveillance expert for the mob. My character's name is Brick on General Hospital. Brick! Sonny Corinthos is my boss, all That's right? That's my dude. I love Sonny Corinthos. We so real with each other wow. that even Offset, if I saw you messing with him, I might have to try and do something. That's what I'm talking about. Because That's what I'm job. talking about. That's, That's exactly right. That's my job. Yeah, I love how excited you get. You, you get me excited watching you. You get excited right. when you talk. When you talk, and you, then you talk about something more, and then you get excited, then you get louder. That's right. You always did that? Not always. Well, first of all, I'm the youngest of six, and I was raised by five women. Yep. So let's be clear. I didn't talk loud too often. <laughs> let's be very, very <laughs> clear about that. My sisters would not hesitate to abuse me. Their names are Linda, Arlen, <laughs> oh, hey, Abigail, hey, hey, and Carmen. All right, all right. All right. They, are, they, would, they, would, they, they would they Yes, I am ratting them out, because <laughs> they would beat up their little brother. Yes, they would. <laughs> but the bottom line is, it taught you. It, it, it taught me. You talk to ladies a certain way. That's right. And you talk to the fellas a certain way. Okay. And so when I get on TV, I'm projecting. I got to make sure. If I'm not passionate about what I'm talking about, why should you be passionate about listening to me? So I got to do that. But when the ladies are on the air with me, I have to change my tone (laughs) and, and modify my delivery just a little bit, you know. That's right. You got to, you know, the Barry White... Teddy Pendergrass, the Osley brothers. See, I'm from that school. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm from that school. Roach! Yeah. I'm from that school. That's okay, yeah, yeah. You understand? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm, I, I mean, you know, these young whippersnappers today, 
Nah, that's no. not my style. Uh, and that's, so no, how, no. that's how you get you get first take, right? And then it goes to Stephen A's world. Yeah. Well, Stephen A's world is a little bit different. It's on ESPN Plus. I executive produced that with ESPN. I could do what I want to do there because I'm the boss. Yeah. Now they say I could do what I want with first take, but the ladies run that. I have questions uh, that I want to ask you. Uh, Tiger Woods in the Masters. I thought it was pretty awesome to see that guy, and he did really well. And, uh, what's your take on Tiger Woods' comeback? He's won already. He can't lose. He won. It doesn't matter what happens this particular weekend. He almost died in a car accident. He survived a major car accident. Then they told him they thought about amputating a part of his leg. Then he survived that. Then they said to him, you may never walk straight again. Don't even think about a golf career again. And now he's back at the Masters. Yeah. He's already won. That's exactly right. He's already That's why I love Stephen A. Smith and I are going to play Wheel of Opinions when we come back. Stick around. Hey, hey.